Welcome back to Parks and Relaxation, day 13 of our cross-country RV road trip. Today we travel about 300 miles and what ended up being 8 hours of driving from Sequoia National Park to Ballarat Ghost Town. I zoomed in here on the map to show you how extreme the switchbacks are on this road. Got up early after a night of stargazing to head out into Sequoia National Park. This park is only about five minutes from our campground that we stayed at for free. Sequoia National Park is home to some of the largest trees in the entire world. It's hard to really show in photos how big these are, but here's a couple of photos for reference. Yeah. They left it off just a little bit more. If they did, you could literally just camp there for the night. You didn't have to go anywhere else. I bet you it would have been a very popular tour. These trees can actually survive forest fires. That last video was kind of showing where the bark had burnt away, but there's still so many feet of tree that it doesn't actually affect it. But... This is the General Sherman tree. It's the biggest circumference tree in the world. This is one of the oldest national parks, and this is the original ranger station from about 100 years ago. The main hike in this park is a half mile trip down to see General Sherman Tree. It's at the base of a thousand foot elevation hike in about only a half mile. Uh, there's signs everywhere that say that during high peak seasons of heat that it's an extremely difficult hike. Make sure you bring lots of water and hiking shoes. This is one of the trees that is actually a smaller one that's completely hollowed out that you can walk through and kind of uh, just get an idea of how big they really are. After about two hours of exploring the park, uh, we decided it's time to head back and get on the 198 highway, which is one of the most treacherous roads we took on the whole trip. These are just a couple of the switchbacks you can see from the mountain. We ran into a dilemma where if we went back the way we came, uh, we didn't have enough gas to make it back in the RV, or you take this 31 mile trip that goes through all these switchbacks and the restriction is 21 foot or 32 foot. We decided to do it anyway and we did make it. It just took a few hours to go 32 miles and we had to stop halfway through switchbacks uh, back up to be able to make the corners. We were so nervous that not many of us took any video of that, but this is us heading from uh, General Sherman Highway to uh, Ballarat Ghost Town. This was about the only city between the two. It's a three hour drive from the national park to this ghost town we headed to and we immediately um, as we're getting towards Death Valley realized that we're getting into an area where there's no civilization. We had found this ghost town by typing in the freecampsites.net, uh, free camping near Death Valley and it pulled up Ballarat Ghost Town where it's a five dollar donation at the main building in town. We didn't get in until almost 11 at night and it was 105 degrees at midnight by the time we actually got camp set up. Went outside and started taking some star photos and we're uh, finding some cool equipment that was left behind, some cool buildings, and there's actually a bunch of different caves and mines around as well. As me and my wife were laying on the ground taking photos of the stars, we started hearing hooves come at us and this is a video of us freaking out. <laughs> What you can't tell in that video is how scared we were because it sounded like a huge animal coming running at us and we couldn't see anything and you can see stars and stuff in these photos but it's pitch black in the middle of a desert and there's cactus everywhere and rattlesnakes and all sorts of cool stuff. 
Turns out in the morning, we realized that all it was was a pack of wild burrows and the donkeys coming to check out and see who we were. Again, for those that didn't watch the last video, all these photos were taken with just a cell phone, a Samsung S20 Ultra. There's no light pollution for hundreds of miles in any direction, it makes it so you can get a completely clear view. Ended up getting pretty late around 1 in the morning, and we decided that we'll explore the town in the light since we just got chased by some animal we didn't understand what it was. Honestly, it freaked us out, so we fired up the generators, got the AC going in the RV, and had a nice night's sleep. In the next video, we're going to show you that it turns out that Charles Manson's truck was abandoned in this town. We'll show you guys what the town looked like in the daylight tomorrow. Remember, don't wait, adventure today. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.